Hi everyone, welcome back to any Swift Tips. In this episode, I will show you one hidden feature in Xcode that Apple is using for some of their code samples from the developers portal. It's about rendering markdowns inside the editor area of Xcode. You can use this to improve the documentation in your project. For example, you can have markdown notes for new developers that are joining your team and it will be the first time for them to work on the code base of the project. The process is really simple. Let me show you. All right, so here we are on my computer. Um, and this is a project that comes from Apple. It's from their introduction to AR kit. Basically, it's this one. Uh, and in it, it contains this readme file in markdown format, which is parsed nicely inside the Xcode. How you can achieve the same thing. How you can make Xcode, Xcode parse these files and have the images working and also the special tags that points to code. I will show you how you can do all of that. So let's build a new project. It will be a single view application. Uh, let's name it markdown parsing test like this yeah save it somewhere that you know like some location that you're using usually and now I have this target and if I drop down uh, some CSV file I have one copied in my uh, clipboard so I'll just paste it here and I'm just gonna drag and drop it to Xcode I say copy if needed it won't need to copy it but yeah oh I don't want to workspace go cool. and see how now it fails to parse it nicely so it shows these headings uh, and yeah it's not parsing it nicely how you can fix this uh, it turns out that it's a hidden feature in Xcode that Apple maybe is planning to use at least for now only for demonstration purposes in their sample projects but how you can trigger this behavior in Xcode uh, is the way you can trigger this behavior is by going inside your project file uh, you as you may know it's just a directory it's a bundle that contains some other files that from time to time you're seeing in your uh, git uh, status messages so if I list what it has inside it's these things so if here I create just a file empty file that is named like this dot xcode sample code dot plist now this readme file is parsed nicely it's just that simple it's just this thing that triggers the markdown parsing cool so what we can do uh, about workspaces then should this work in a workspace so let's make a workspace it will say that you wanna it wants to make a workspace I'll make one really quick let's name it the same or I'll just name it untitled and it doesn't matter uh, you create groups copy so I'll move this one oh now it's actually it's actually showing 
the issue so as you can see it's no longer parsing nicely even though we had this this file uh, no in fact it has deleted it okay let's create it one more time and you see that it's still not parsed nicely why is that it's because we were now opening the workspace file not the project file and so we, we should add this uh, this empty file in our workspace now because this is what we open in Xcode so let's go one directory behind and now we should see we should have this untitled workspace let's go inside it untitled and make this file again cool and now it's working again it's that simple you're just creating the web um, I mean you're just creating this this file inside your workspace or project file the thing that you're opening in Xcode and this is what triggers this feature for parsing markdown files you can go what are the advanced things that you can do inside it as I, as I showed you before this jumping to code is really nice all you can do is add tags like this to your code and inside the readme file if I open it like quick look you can see how how it does it view in source and it's just calling this tag maybe the font is really small yeah you won't be able to see it nicely but I will open this I will open this in another way let me show you just a second so if I open it with let's say sublime viewing source button is done like this and this is the, ta the tag where it's put in the code this is what makes these uh, links to your code files thank you all for watching i hope that this trick will be helpful for your future work if you're interested in ios development and you're new here you should consider subscribing to this channel where i'll be posting videos like this once a week have a nice day everyone see you in the next video bye bye